there and welcome to my YouTube channel Julia McNeil Crafts. So today I am going to make this card here. We're going to go for some galaxy style here using the gorgeous stamp from Poco Doodles. So I'm just going to get on it. I've already kind of masked it to my um, work surface because I have been finding that I love to throw quite a lot of water um, onto my projects when I'm using watercolours but that does really end up warping your card quite a lot, even with a good quality um, watercolour card stock. Um, so I decided to do what you're supposed to do, <laughs> what you see professionals doing, and mask it down. I have tried that a few times now and it does work an awful lot better. Right, sorry, I'm probably going to end up with my head in shot here, I'll try not to do it too much. I decided I just kind of want half the girl, so I'm just having a little look to see where I can get her, because I want, when the tape comes off, to just still be able to see half of her lips and a little bit of her nose, so I just wanted to make sure that I positioned that right, make sure I give that good impression and hopefully the only trouble is that there you go they've been stuck down with masking tape um yeah the paper wants to lift as you're pulling it up i'm just gonna because this is my good mat and that stays on ink so i am just going to work to get that off before i get going okay Might have to get something out onto that later there you go. Right, I am using my Jane Davenport Brights 2D. I just love these paints and I think they're brilliant for doing the kind of whole galaxy look. The colours are really good for them. Okay, so I am going to start off by just wetting her hair slightly because um, for the galaxy style here I do prefer to work wet wet on wet. So I've used the stays on ink there so it's not going to to move. I'm roughly oops I've got an inner face a bit there. I'm roughly going to follow the outline over here but I'm just going to bring it down slightly further and I'm going to go to her neckline and add all of that to her hair as well just so that it kind of flows across the card a little bit later. I'll put my um, things there for colour reference for you. So I am going to start off using the lightest blue which is 70s eyeshadow. Now I am going to end up using quite a lot of water on this because I think it's the best way of getting now um, a galaxy effect. I like it because all the colours bleed into each other really really well and do all sorts of funny cool puddling stuff um, and I think it really just adds to the to that look that I'm trying to trying to create. So just putting my base coat on there. Um, of that first blue which is, um, as I said, 70s eyeshadow. I'm then going to go in and use some of the Butterfly. So this is a kind of more deeper royal blue. And I'm kind of focusing on what would be darker. So you've kind of got a shadow underneath her face, so that's going to be a bit darker. I'm going to darken that up even more in a bit. And then with Galaxies, um, you tend to find the edges are darker, so although on normal light <laughs> light theory the edges of this wouldn't be quite as dark. I think to achieve the galaxy effect I like to, to add in a bit there as well. So we're gonna go for go for that. I love doing the galaxy effect. It is one of the most impressive looking things. <laughs> and it's so easy. This is my favourite colour in the world. It's called Best Friend. It's just so vibrant. So I'm going to put a bit of that into these highlight areas. And let it just take it to the edges of those other colours and let them sort of bleed together. And they'll end up making some sort of rich purpley colour, which I will kind of intensify a bit later with other colours. Just pulling that right in so we've got a real mix of purples and blues here. Now I'm going to use this ink colour and I'm 
say, I've got quite a lot of water on there, so it is maybe going to take a little bit of time to dry. Oh, going for the wrong paint there. Still a lovely colour, but not quite the one I want. I want this really, this ink. And I, I'm going to put it in these areas to really create a lot of depth. You can see I have got masses of water on this. But because I have got the water, it's not really bleeding onto her face at all. It's kind of creating that natural barrier. So you don't have to be, you don't have to be afraid of watercolours. So I'm going to put some along the edge here as well. Uh, put it, as I said, put it in some of the areas that I want to be a bit darker. And then just pop some into the, the middle parts for random randomness. And the other thing is no two will ever be the same. This is going to look completely different to the last one I did, and that's okay. Okay, imagine some of the royal in there as well, just in some of those shadows. It's more of a purpley tone, and it will just tie into those pinky bits. Can pull those paddly bits in a little bit. The trouble is with this, you can just keep going and keep going and keep adding more paint, <laughs> but it's not always advisable. Sometimes you've just got to stop. <laughs> but it's hard. It's hard to know when to stop. See, I've kind of muddied that up a bit now. I'll add some more pink. That's okay. I think I want a bit of pink over. We've probably lost it a little bit already because we've gone quite dark in there. But I'm just going to add a bit of pink over there. Okay. So as you can see already, where the colours have landed are quite different to those, but we'll still get a really cool effect once we're done. Now, I'm going to have to leave that to dry. I'll maybe pick some of the puddles up as it dries, but I kind of like to wait to see what happens as it dries, because um, there'll be some sort of blends that'll really work well together, and there's there'll be others that I don't like quite so much. Um, so I'll just leave that be at the minute. And I'm going to concentrate on doing her eye. So again, I'm going to go in with just a bit of water. And I'm going to use the same colours that I used before. So I've got a bit intense there. This is the 70s eyeshadow. Oops, got too much water. And I'm just putting some at the edges there. And then I want my highlight to be roughly where the highlight's been drawn already so we've got this big thing of light just there so I kind of want that to be the natural highlight of this as well so that's kind of what I'm I'm aiming for there I maybe just need to lose some of the water on that okay so I'll bring it in again so I want that natural highlight I have gone over the lines there slightly, but it's fine. We can bring that back a little bit with a white Posca paint. And some of the blues will come into the face to create um, shading on the face. So it's we've not we've not ruined it. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Everything can be fixed. <laughs> so I'm going in with that slightly darker colour now. So that's the butterfly. And just hold that there to have a play with. Okay, and I think what we can do now is do a little bit of the lips and then I might have to just leave this to dry a little bit and come back in a moment. So I'm going to go with the best friend. Once that's dry, I'll add a bit more shading to create a bit more depth with that. But as I say, I don't think I can go any further at the minute until this has dried a little bit. I don't want to force dry it with the heat gun, because um, especially with Galaxy Skies, I like when it, when it dries naturally. So I'm going to pause it just now, and then when we're ready to go on to the next bit, I will be back. Hi there, I am back, and... I'm just going to put my mat down. <laughs> I'm back and I 
it's not fully dry, we've still got a few wet bits, but here's where I can kind of pick bits and pieces of it up. So I like the darkness here, don't like it here, it could do with being a bit darker in there, and the rest of it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pull, just get my paper towel, and pull that little bit up there, which is just going to lighten it slightly. This has still got a lot of water on it, so I'm still going to pick it up, um, but I still want it to be slightly darker, so I am going to use the ink paint and just kind of go on with that a lot heavier, so I don't have as much water this time. I'm actually creating the, the depth with much more pigment. Oops. And the same in here. I want to kind of come in here again because that needs to be a bit darker. So I'm just kind of going to paint that, paint that in quite heavily. And this will look a little bit better once it's dry. So I want to keep that, but obviously I want it to look blended. That looks <laughs> a little bit dark at the minute. So I'm going to go back in with some of the other colours and a little bit more water and just kind of loosen those edges a little bit so that we have have something that's a little bit softer and the water will move the pigment around from the other layers and it'll all be good. So now we've kind of got the depth there and here and by the time I've done all the other details that's kind of going to look okay. So whilst those little bits are drying I can do another layer on the eye. So I I'm now going to go in with a bit more of that um, do, 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 sorry, butterfly colour. Just to add a bit more, a bit more depth, and just pop it in to the corners there. Bring it round, but not quite as far as I've let the others go. And then again, a little bit of that ink, that really dark colour. And I'm just going to pop that right in the corners and bring that, bring that down. And I might even just put it around the, the edge of the people there. Really deepen that up. So it's quite a simple card. We're spending quite a bit of time on the, the painting side of it. Um, but once that's done, that's it really. Um, so I think we're letting the... I did try and make one where I embellished her hair and stuff like that using some of the flowers from the other stamps and I, I don't know, it didn't speak to me very much so then I made it again more simply and I much preferred it. So Again I'm going to put a bit more of the pink into her lips there. I need to activate my water again. I think it was dried up while I sorry my paints. Activate my paints again. They've dried up a little bit while I was. I was actually working on another project, so now my um, hands are full of stays on ink and they're a bit sticky because I managed to get a spray adhesive onto my fingers. I have gone down and tried to scrub them, so I'm getting a very strong whiff of uh, strawberry soap, but I don't know that it's actually done <laughs> done much to take the sticky off. So while I'm letting the eye dry, I am now going to do the background. So in my head, <laughs> it was almost like the galaxy sky, the galaxy hair, sorry, sort of started spraying out <laughs> from her hair and creating the background. I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but in my little world, that's what I was trying to achieve. So I don't want this hair to bleed, so I'm just taking the... I'm putting water everywhere and I'm going to start off by making a layer that's quite soft and I'm just kind of going to take the water very close to the hair but not actually in it because I don't want, I want that to be a definite line, I don't want it to be running out. And I'm going to take some of the colours that we've had and I'm just going to splatter them into the background. So that's the butterfly colour. And I think I'll get some of the, the pink because that's just gorgeous. 
So I'm going to put that there and then maybe some of the eyeshadow. So that looks a bit much at the minute. It's a bit stronger than I want it. But this is my first layer that is going to be the sort of diffused background. I appreciate it doesn't look overly diffused at the minute. But then I am going to take my paper towel and just pull all of that, pull the water <laughs> and all of that back up. And as I said, then we've kind of got a sort of very soft, diffused sort of look. Um, same version of colours that's coming out there. Okay. So I am going to, do, 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 I'm trying to see how dry this is looking, it's getting there, it's getting there. Um, so I'm maybe going to add a bit more depth to the lips. So I am now going into Fairy Tail. It's a good name for this girl, isn't it? Fairy Tail. I love this about art, it's like you can have galaxy hair. Galaxy eyes. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. So I'm just adding a bit of depth into there. Right, I'm also going to, I'm not going to do a huge amount of skin, well, I've not really done a skin tone at all. What I've done is I've taken this pink um, Best Friend colour and really watered that down and painted edges with it and also what I've done is I've just very slightly pulled it's maybe a bit wet there but pulled some of the blue from the hair into it I think when I did the other ones I waited for it to <laughs> to dry that a little bit more so if I just there we go um, so I'm pulling those same colours so again it's going to give that sort of cohesive look but I, I want it I didn't want it stark white I didn't think that worked um, so all I'm just trying to do is pull the colour tones of the background in and create a little bit of shading in areas on the face where there would be shading. Obviously there wouldn't be a big blue blob so we'll just lift that, see lift that there, we're just going to lift that as because I was a bit too a bit too quick about going into doing the skin. Um, so again, because I've, I'm wanting it quite pale I've put quite a lot of water so again I'm going to pull some of that that colour in and that's going to create the shadow because her neck would be in quite a bit of shadow. Okay. So while that's drying I am going to get a couple of bits of paper and just cover cover her up. I kind of want to sort of go with the shape of the hair a little bit. <laughs> is just leftover reject copier paper from bits that have gone wrong in my printer. Oops, I'm just trying to create a bit of a, yeah I'm kind of wanting to create a bit of a shape. So I've got quite a fine spray sort of coming out just from the hair and that's what I'm going to try and do now. So I've got a stiffer brush. This time I am not going to add water first because I want it to be, but I want also want it to be quite fine. So I'm going to dip it in to the, let me see, this was the butterfly. Don't want it too wet. And then I'm just going to pull it against my nail and try and go in different directions a little bit. Let's move this out of the way so I don't ruin the card that I've already made. So that it, it looks a bit more, it look, can look a bit strange if all the paint splatters are going in the same direction. Okay. So that's that's the blue. It doesn't matter that we've got a few bigger ones because I, I do kind of want that. Okay, um, I'm going to do the same with the, the best friend. Which I should have just got it from there. <laughs> and I've not cleaned my brush fully so that's gone a bit purpley but that's fine. It saves me having to add the purple later. I'll just try and give it a better, a better clean. <laughs> As I said, I've got quite a stiff brush. There's not much movement in this, but it does mean as I flick it, I get 
quite a good spray. No, sorry, I just realised my head's really in shot. At least I had my roots done a couple of the other week, so it looks slightly better <laughs> for you. <ya. laughs> okay. So take that away and then now as we can see we've got a little bit um there that just looks a bit blank, so I'm gonna go back in and fix that because that just looks a bit strange. Okay. And a bit of a pink. Okay, right. I've somehow managed to give her sort of some sort of strange <laughs> head thingy going on there. Because obviously the paper wasn't quite um, protective enough, so I'm going to put loads of water on there and try and lift that as much as I can. Left overly without wrecking the paper. Right. Never mind, we will work something out for that. So now I have done that, I'm just going to add a lot so that it's not quite a harsh, oops, not quite such a harsh line. I'm going to add a few more little splatters. And some bigger ones as well. Just so, as I said, I'm trying to make it look like her her hair is causing this sort of <laughs> galaxy to come forth from it. <laughs> okay, now we've got some major fixing of this face to do. So that's fun. And we also, oh sorry, sorry, head in shot. Right, I'm going to add a bit more. We've kind of taken away the colour to that a little bit. So let's stick a bit more of that in. Seeing as we've lost it slightly, because I'm it's because I'm rushing. I took my time with the one I did for myself, and I'm rushing because I'm anxious not to make the video too long. And I maybe just should stop and just I'll let you see it properly. But you know, maybe not like, see me fix a face instead. So all good, all good. So once you've got the point shiny splatters on there and we've drawn some sky. The hair is fairly easily fixed. Okay. So let me see this maybe I don't want to splatter this too much because it's also um my mat is not heat protective in any way. It's not a glass mat. It's just somebody was asking me about my mat. Um, it is a table protector from IKEA. So when I started filming um sorry that blue finger when I started filming, uh, or knew I wanted to start a YouTube channel, um, I wanted a very bright white surface to be working on, and I wanted it to be non-reflective. I was very specific in my requests, and I was hunting ages and ages to find something. So in the end, and we tried lots of things, I tried these table protectors from Dunelm, um, you know, the, but they, that was too shiny, and oh, I tried lots of things. Um, in the end, this is a table protector from the office section of IKEA, and I have it over a white mount board that I have bought from the art shop. I think I just got it from Hobbycraft, so it's it's a fairly cheap setup. But and when I first got it, I was very precious about it because, as I said, I bought it specifically for recording. Um, but. I've become a little bit less precious, but actually I find out it's fairly tough. You can wash most things off it. Now, my stays on um, stain slightly there, but that's all right. Um, I get a bit of a sif or something out like that, and we'll be fine. I'm actually just going to use that as a <laughs> mixing palette as well, because I've got quite a few colour tones going on in my actual <laughs> one there. Okay, so I'm going. It doesn't. I don't think it matters too much that this has happened. Um, with the fact she's got galaxy hair, she looks slightly. She doesn't look particularly real anyway. So having blue speckled face is no big deal. But, I mean, I will try and do something to resolve it slightly, but I'm not going to stress about it too much. So I'm just adding a bit of extra pink in there. And as I said, I quite like to pull the colour tones of the the hair in. 
anyway. I think that looks quite that looks quite good. Um, we can maybe solve this one a little bit by giving her a bit of eyeshadow. So we've got a few speckles there, so we could sort of instead resolve that by giving her some sort of eyeshadow. We should probably make it more purple. Well, that's me just contaminated the pink I was trying to keep. Well done. So we could sort of have something like that going on. Okay, the, the edges of her cheeks are just a little bit harsh, so I am going to go in with just some plain water. And sort of do that. And I'm actually going to maybe pull that into the rest of the, the rest of the face. So we've got some sort of skinny sort of tones going on. Okay. I think we're just going to have to deal with the fact we've got a few splatters on our face. Maybe if I can use some some white watercolour here. It's not overly opaque. This isn't my favourite one. I keep, I've keep i seen people use the Echoline one, um, which I think I might see about investing in. This one's quite... I don't know. That's fine, but it's very transparent. But actually, that has just knocked back those blue dots a little bit. But it's because it's slightly transparent and still sort of picking up the, the colour tones, which is what I was trying to achieve. There we go. So I think if we let that dry, that might just take it away here. There we go. See? All fixed. All good. Okay, so we still need to give her lips that little bit more definition. So I'm going to go in with a bit more, I think this is the, what have I got here, Frida. I'm just going to, oops, it's very heavy. I'm just going to just give Sid a little bit of, it's a bit better, I'm liking that. Oh my, I can tell I'm using a lot of water. <laughs> All my people's jiggles have gone really damp. I'm just going to pick that up at the edges because she's got bleeding lipstick at the minute. Okay, so we're almost there. Um, I am just going to take the Believe Sentiment from the other stamp set. Now, I was all organised, but because I've been crafting over there whilst off camera, it's disappeared. So, yeah, I'm getting the Believe Sentiment off the Believe set. This girl is called Forever Special. So, I'm just going to get that. And get my stays on ink. So a creaky chair. That's on my wish list. A new chair for up in the loft. Trouble is this creaky one is the most comfortable one. The other one is just not very comfortable, so I keep pulling this one back. But then every time I'm doing a video I'm like, oh, oh I've got to change the creaky chair. So in the middle I'm just gonna stamp that. Okay. So we've got that sentiment there, and then I think what I did was I just picked up a little bit of the, the pink and just coloured in a little love heart, really delicately, not so it you know, just too much, but just a little bit of extra detail. Okay, so now we need to change our hair from being multicoloured to being galaxy. So again, what I'm going to do is go in with my masks, so I want to protect her face. And I want to protect this background again. It goes over a little bit. That doesn't matter too much. And for this, I am going to take my Kurataki Gansi Tambies. Like I said in the last video, I seriously need to buy a new pan of this. This one. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's disappearing. I use it so much. <laughs> So I'm going to use this, do the same technique that I did earlier. I have got this this brush which has got slightly stiffer bristles and I'm going to just ping. That's a technical term. <laughs> ping lots of this on it. And because this is a lovely pearlescent, it's got a real shimmer which really helps with this whole galaxy effect. And then I want some slightly bigger Bit, so I'm going to grab my other brush and pick some up okay, and 
just do some slightly bigger splatters. And we should, oh, see, so I've missed a bit over here there. Just make sure that gets some of the sparkle treatment. Okay. And then that should be that, hopefully. Okay. So we are getting there. I'm just going to grab my heat gun. Okay. And then what I will do is I will grab my white pasta pen. And we will just finish finish this off. Oh my I'm a black one as well actually. Okay. There's the white one. Okay. So with the white one, I've not quite got enough splatters in, in there, but we can go back. I'll just add a few white dots with this. So I'm going to go in and add a few white dots. Like so. And then I'm going to do some where I'm just going to kind of turn it into a little sparkle. And if we come in over the face slightly, I don't know, that seems to increase the look of the shine. So I'm going to do some like that. Not thinking about it too much. If I find if you concentrate on it too much, it looks very drawn. Right, I'm going to try and disguise that with a star a little bit. And I'm also going to draw some sort of very quick basic scribbly stars. And that is just going to kind of complete that starry look that we've got going on. Now, when I had done this, I then sort of realised that we lost the detail in her eye. Um, because we've put all the paint and the stays on doesn't go, it doesn't seem to be particularly definite. Um, it doesn't give a black black. I think there are other um, ink pads out there that are better for that. I think was it the archival, an archival ink pad, something like that. I don't have one. I only have my stays on and I just find that when you've got like silhouette stamping, it's a little bit greeny. Now if you had a stamp press you could stamp it three or four times so that you get it nice and black but what I've done is I've just taken my um, black Posca and I'm just drawing that people back in and I'm just going to put some little lines for the eyes as well and then I'm going to trace over those gorgeous eyelashes because they've been hidden underneath all the paint so I'm just going to re... and I'm just following the lines of the stamp I'm not changing it in any way okay. and then I'm just going to add that line there so now her eye is much more definite we're kind of lost if you want to put some of the hairline back in you can do that okay and that's her so then what I'll do is take this masking tape off um, I will not waste this all the stuff that I have used so far by sticking this down will go into a journal I have done that so far and what I quite like about doing this is you've got the nice white crisp edge now I have heard thankfully I've not ripped my paper yet but you can but I have heard that if you do that um, that if you use a spoon to rub it and um, that can make a difference okay then all I've done is I've gone around the edge of that with my black pro marker and mounted it on to a white card and that's her there so, uh, so I'm trying to tidy up here and throwing more things <laughs> throwing more things at it Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed doing that. I realise it is a bit of a longer video, but I don't know. I love I love galaxy painting, and I do think it is worth worth the effort. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at that. If you have enjoyed my video, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I'll be back again very soon with something else. Okay, thank you then. Goodbye.